Brave Music. My people, what's good? It's your boy Darius Person. I go by Brave. You know what day it is, Focus Friday. Topic is Time is Ticking. It's a movie called End Time, and Justin Timberlake is the main character in it. And the movie really spoke to me, man. God really spoke to me the whole time. I was watching it. In the movie, they got a time limit on their forearm, and it shows how much time they got to live. But they can buy time. But Justin was in poverty, so he, he couldn't really afford time. But Justin's friend was rich, and he got pretty much just strung out on living, and he was tired of living. So Justin goes to sleep. Justin friend puts his forearm against his forearm and gives Justin all his time. And Justin wake up like, dang, where this time come from? And he look up and the guy left a note that said, don't waste my time. Now as Christians, that, that should sound for me. Like Jesus, he died for us and he bought us with a price on the cross. So therefore, this life is ours. And he left us a note that said, don't waste my time. So the Apostle Paul said, and Christ died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves. And I'm like, man, if I live for myself, I'm gonna hurt myself and those around me. If I live for myself, that's small. God is bigger than me. And the vision that he's given me is bigger than me as well. So my homeboy Sip passed away months ago and his birthday was days ago. And on Facebook, you know, they was like, you know, Sip was a, was a great guy, but that wasn't it. It was like, Sip was a man of God. He impacted lives. Like, this sounds big. And I'm like, man, like, he really inspired me to just keep doing what I'm doing and making an impact for the kingdom. So, you watching this, you got a purpose in life. It's the reason why you're here on earth. And the Bible says that we are God's handiwork, which means that God wants to use us to make an impact. So, y'all might be like, you know, brave. I don't feel worthy to be used by God. Like this is an excuse because God's grace allows us to be used. And if we keep saying, God, I don't feel worthy, we saying, God, your gift isn't good enough for me. And God's grace allows us to be used. So, you know, God, teach us to number our days. And I thought about that and I'm like, man, like if we just live life knowing that, man, I might not live tomorrow, we can make better choices, we can make better decisions. And I wanna encourage you to understand that, man, time is ticking and our life is a vapor. We hear that we gone. And we have to understand our purpose here so God can use us to make an impact. So that's why my heart cries out for the youth because nowadays, they facing all kind of stuff. They got Facebook now, like they 12 years old with a Facebook account. When I was 12 years old, man, I was outside playing. It wasn't no bad girls club, it was boys and girls club. It, it wasn't no love and hip hop, it was go outside and hopscotch, you know what I'm saying? So, and he double, he's after the youth because he understands that if this generation stands off of God, something big is gonna happen. And the Bible relates to him as a lion in the book of First Peter. And, you know, when I was young, my favorite thing to watch was the animal planet. I, I love the animal planet. And one thing about lions is when they hunt the prey, you know, they study them for like an hour, like two miles away. And once they creep up on the, the prey, they seek out the youth in the week not the mature adults. So say he's after the youth, and I wanna encourage you guys, man, to just stand out and, and keep making an impact for the kingdom of God. And God calls us to stand out, not fit in. Um, don't fit in and make the world worse, okay? So one, one dude that come to mind is Michael Jordan. Um, back in the day, in the 80s, they had them short daisy dudes hooping. And Joe was like, I'm not gonna fit in with y'all, man, and wear these days of dudes. So Joe was like, I'm gonna stand out and I'm gonna talk to Champion and I'm gonna add some inches to the hemline. And he did it. And he had longer shorts. Then after a while, 
the whole league started wearing longer shorts because he chose to stand out. So once you stand out, man, those around you would be like, man, like if he can stand out for God and he can impact, I can do the same. So focus Friday, man. Time is ticking, man. It's like it's an hours. And uh, I want to shout out some people, man, who are making an impact for the kingdom. Man, shout out my homeboy TP, um, Tyler Pruitt, Prolific Apparel. Make sure y'all go in, man, and support the vision, man. It's, it's an awesome vision. Um, great vision. My guy, Michael Hunt, he's starting a church, the Jesus Church. God bless you, man. Like, I'm proud of you. I want to shout out my home, Grand Nick Minaj. Psych, I don't know. Focus Friday. God bless y'all. Time is ticking.